McLaren's woes worsen as Fernando Alonso is forced to stop on track after promising start to F1 testing session. Just when McLaren thought things were looking up in pre-season testing, the British Formula 1 team suffered yet another setback. Fernando Alonso was beginning to show his ability in the Renault-powered McLaren during day 2 of the concluding F1 test in Spain on Wednesday. The Spanish driver completed 46 impressive laps in the morning session, more than McLaren managed in the whole of day one at Barcelona's Circuit de Catalunya. But disaster struck when Alonso's car stopped on the track, forcing the two-time champion to climb out of his challenger and assess what caused the breakdown. The McLaren came to a stop at turn 7 and track mass halls were forced to apply solution to the circuit which suggested there was some sort of leak. McLaren opted to change the engine on Alonso's car after the leak, keeping the two-time world champion in the garage for most of the morning. He completed only 47 laps, the fewest among the 10 drivers who made it to the track. His time of 1, colon 19.856 was still good for fourth fastest. It comes after teammate Stoffel van Dorn had to be pushed back to the garage by his McLaren mechanics on Tuesday when he stopped in the pit lane after completing one lap. The Belgian returned to the track moments later but then broke down again, this time on the entrance to the pits, and was wheeled back by his McLaren team. A faulty wheel nut cost Alonso valuable track time on the first day at Barcelona last week, while Van Dorn did not complete any running last Tuesday afternoon following mechanical gremlins. McLaren chief Zach Brown and the team's racing director Eric Bolio both moved to play down their team's reliability woes, but there will no doubt be a sense of deja vu among those at the Woking Mark. We had some little issues and this is just part of the process, Bolia said. It's a new partnership with Renault and new packaging as well. This is just testing so give us time. Renault has blamed faulty batteries for electrical problems suffered in testing by McLaren and Red Bull, both teams who use their engines. McLaren had two electrical related problems on Tuesday, the first day of the final pre-season test in Barcelona, while Red Bull's maximum Verstappen also brought out a red flag when his car stopped on track. Renault's works team had no problems, but technical head Bob Bell said it was nothing to do with the way the batteries were installed. What we do ahead of the season opener in Melbourne is that we try and shake down all of the battery systems to make sure all of the stock that are going racing are in good shape, he said. That's why we test them here. We revolve them around the customer teams and ourselves to make sure they are all tested ahead of Melbourne. So it's not unusual to find issues. McLaren have switched to Renault this season, after terminating their difficult three-year relationship with Honda. Honda's new partners Toro Rosso, owned by Red Bull, have now done many more laps than McLaren, whose first week of testing in Barcelona was hit by mechanical niggles. Van Dorn lost power in the car early on Tuesday, but was able to coast back to the pits. He then suffered the same issues when he went out again and stopped on track. The team then changed the battery. Today's testing was then cut short by an hydraulic leak. Claren, who last won a race in 2012, are hoping to get back on the podium this year while Red Bull, who won three races in 2017, are seen as potential title contenders again. Those problems could have affected any of the three teams, so of course it's an issue for us, Bell said of Tuesday's issues. But the reason we do this testing of those components before going to Melbourne is to find the ones that have got problems, he added. 
it's the right thing to do, we have found some, that are not fit for purpose and that's great.